nice one guys so basically i'm making some macaroni and cheese but i'm gonna be showing you how to do another version of the macaroni and cheese now what i did earlier to be honest with you i'm using a two liter two pint of milk which is one pint 136 liter of milk what i'm using in the pot okay but also i put back a little bit of the milk into this container right here so let's let's come right here and show you what i'm doing okay now all right now hope you guys can see okay now i got some milk inside of this container right here also but i'm gonna be doing a little bit of cheapness on it okay now i got this cheddar cheese sauce you can get them in a the local shop or your supermarket to buy you can make your own sauce if you like to but i just feel that this just come in a little bit handy okay and i said to myself if it is something for my audience to be easier i will show them it okay so what we're gonna do I'm gonna be putting the two pack into this milk right here. Okay. Um, hopefully the two pack will give it the thickness what I'm looking for. So I put two packs. You can make it your way you wanna make it, but if you can get this cheddar cheese sauce to use, you can use it. If you can't get it, just make your own sauce. But I'm gonna say this is just so handy. Give it a mix. I'm using a fork and I'm gonna mix it out. I'm using probably roughly about a cup of milk. So this is what you want to do. You want to whisk it out into some milk because it, it will be just like coggle up like, you know what I mean, have some lump we don't want. So it's better for you to just. So I'm just making this lovely little um macaroni and cheese my daughter love macaroni and cheese and she that that can make me some macaroni and cheese you know macaroni and cheese is something where you can also freeze and you can use it whenever you want it so i said my daughter i'm gonna make you a portion of macaroni and cheese but this is gonna be too much but um you can also take out a few pieces and put them away because she's in school so you know sometimes she come home she might just want to take a piece of macaroni and cheese and just eat it so that's another recipe way where you can do at home if you are a person who work nine to five now i just finished the the sauce but it's just a little tips and ideas i'm sharing with you where coming you guys can do these things at home in a new year all right yeah in the new in the new year now this is the best thing you can do to have things ahead of you okay yeah so hopefully this will be giving you a little bit of tips and ideas what to do at home so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna be using my spoon because Okay. Okay. Um Alright, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pour it inside of this. The milk is a little bit warm. So hopefully this one will this two pack will give it that thickness. What I'm looking for so it's gonna take a little bit of time in the meantime I'm gonna do we're gonna add some pepper also you can add a clove of garlic into the water take your time and just keep giving it a stir like this it's gonna take a little bit of time because you want it to get that thickness okay so don't have no cheese or nothing to eat yet. You want to get it thick first. So it will take a little bit of time, but you will see when it finish.
I'm already cooked off the macaroni. Um, yeah, so the macaroni is ready. So it's just a sauce I'm gonna make up, and I'm gonna give you a few tips and things that you can also do at home. So you just keep stirring it. You have to wait till you get thick, guys. Don't worry yourself. We're gonna put a little bit of all purpose season into it. All right. Pinch of sea salt. Let's keep it, give it a stir. I got yellow cheese and I got the white cheese also. Okay. So this you can also make it any time of the year. You want to make it, especially, you know, maybe in the winter season. This is also very good. All right. So don't worry yourself. It will get really thick up. But you, it's not something where you want to rush because you will burn up the pot, burn up the milk, everything will be just really burn up. So you just have to take your time and have that pot. And that patient, yeah. That's looking good. So when you're gonna do this thing, you need to just cook the macaroni first. Or you can make the sauce first, which one make it more easier for you. Yeah, but it's a beautiful recipe for you to try at home, guys, yeah? Smell the garlic. And this is looking lovely. And as you can see, it's got a little bit of differentness coming to it. getting thicker and thicker you can feel it heavy as you can see you see all right it started looking different and different all right so that's why I say to you it takes a little bit of time when you're doing it this way but if you want you can make your own sauce to be honest with you but I just think this sauce is just so easy and handy for the nine to five workers and if you are having a long day and you want to do yourself some macaroni and cheese then this sauce is such a such a lovely and easy sauce to use. So as you can see, it started getting thick and thick. All right, you do not want to add the cheese to it now because it will split. And you do not want that to happen to you guys. It's gonna it's gonna ruin your macaroni and cheese. And when you know when it's getting thick, the liquid is starting to get heavy 
and heavy when it's move it is around in the pan move the spoon around in the pan so I'm just you know it's getting heavy so remember I said you do not want to have the cheese because if you had the cheese it's just gonna ruin the macaroni and cheese is gonna split the milk you do not want that yet so you just want it to get thick up first and then Okay, as you can see, it's starting to get thick and thick. Take your time and just keep stirring it. Have a little bit of patient, won't kill you. And that's where we are at the moment. So, as you can see, it's starting to get thick and thick. So you just have to watch your pot. I'm using a non-stick pot. Cause the non-stick pot now help me you know a lot. That maybe don't burn up the milk. But you have to be careful. I have it on a medium size eat and I'm just keeping my eye on it while I'm stirring it. So as you can see. Alright. That's looking good. Okay. It's really thick at the moment. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. So you wanna turn on your cooker now because there's a strong heat underneath the pot. Turn on your cooker a little bit. So as you can see, it doesn't split and nothing doesn't happen. Everything is good and that's what you want. Okay? And that's looking lovely. All right, look at that. So that look nice. It doesn't split and nothing happened. Everything is great. Now, this is the most important part is the cheese. Okay, so we're going to add some cheese to the sauce. All right, and that's so lovely. I'm using some strong cheddar cheese. And add that cheese to it. So guys, this is just a perfect way if you want to make yourself some, some cheese sauce at home. Trust me, this will just so handy for you. So I'm going to turn off the cooker. Look at that. Such a beautiful sauce. All right. Now, what you want to do is taste the sauce and see where you are. Okay. Mm. That is lovely. Really lovely. So as I can see, the sauce is perfect, okay? Nice one. Now, what you can do, I'm going to add a little bit more purple and a pinch of sea salt. Okay, now this is where the secret bit come in. This is the macaroni over here. I'm gonna show you what to do. So get your macaroni. This is your macaroni. And then what you wanna do, you wanna get a little bit of vegetable season or your all purpose season, sprinkle it on top of it like this. Get yourself some cheddar cheese. 
then what you want to do you want to wake it up the, the macaroni with the cheese and we just put add to it okay guys and that's so that looking lovely and nice now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give you another secret where you can also do at home okay you don't have to it's just option but I just think this is just working really well so you want to strain the sauce You want to strain the sauce. I'm just going to add all of the sauce. so lovely now once you strain your sauce okay you want to give it a mix and that's where the important part is coming in okay um so it, everything is eye measurement okay guys and you can use the eye measurement just like when you're at home cooking and you're cooking some beautiful food you use your eye measurement and measure up everything okay Now, what I'm going to do is I made us had a little bit more because I have a little bit more of the pasta left. Let's had a little bit more because I got a large container. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some yellow cheese to go through it and give that a lovely color. Got some more cheese just gonna add that to it so I'm using a lot of cheese because you know macaroni and cheese that's why it named macaroni and cheese to be honest with you okay guys so just you just put as much cheese as you have because it's macaroni and cheese cheese you want to make sure you mix it well really good that's lovely guys really really lovely now all you want to do is just give it a try and see where you are okay this is the best thing you could ever do is try it like this when it's ready mm. that is so lovely yeah nice one now what you want to do is I'm using the foil That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, and I'm gonna scrape out that macaroni and cheese into it. And trust me, that's gonna be lovely. You can put corn, you can put vegetables in it, you can do so many things with this macaroni and cheese
right? Now, all I'm gonna do is get some cheese and finish it off like this. Guys, trust me. This is such a lovely macaroni and cheese. I'm always making macaroni and cheese, so this is something I've been doing for a long time and I have a lot of experience in the macaroni and cheese. I can make my own sauce. You know what I mean? If you want me to make your own sauce, I can also do that one. And it's just so lovely. You know what I mean? Yeah, something different sometime on the plate, on the table, whatever you're doing at home, okay? Yeah, now. Look at that. You can freeze this in your freezer for one month, two months at least. You know what I mean? If you've got a good freezer, you can just freeze it in your freezer and use it whatever time you like to use it. Okay? But as you can see for yourself, guys, that's such a lovely macaroni and cheese. And I want to take the time out to say thank every one of you guys who are watching the show. I appreciate it. And we got a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas. So now, you want to cook the macaroni and cheese and you might say, well, how am I going to cook it? Now, you want to cook the macaroni and cheese. You're going to just cook this for roughly about 35 minutes, at least 30 to 35 minutes. Once it get that beautiful color, goldish color on top of it, it's going to be cooked. That's the showing you say I'm ready. Now, what you want to do, if you leave your macaroni and cheese overnight, it get hard together and you can slice it up into some slice it and you can wrap it like, into a clean frame clim flim and freeze it and you can take out piece by piece and you can just microwave it put it in your oven and eat it sometimes you come from work and you want to just chuck something in the oven that's a good opportunity for you right here okay thank you so much for watching my name is chef record i try my best to give you lovely recipes guys and now i'm going to be baking this for about 30 minutes to 35 minutes in my oven here yeah. so see you next time in the kitchen with more recipes and more ideas wallipa love from Chef Ricardo. Bye-bye.